Hey guys, this is Bridget, and today we're going to be talking about alien contact and how to make contact with our alien selves and actual physical contact. I'm going to be sharing about the three different stages so that we can figure out where we're each at and where we're going on this trajectory. And I know a lot of you guys have been wanting more extraterrestrial videos, and this will explain why I haven't been doing them. Alrighty? So let's dive into it. So stage one is personal exploration okay so it's the finding of how we relate to extraterrestrials and what experiences we've had with them so this is the stage where you are maybe doing regressions and you're figuring out and remembering all the things that have been blocked you know by the negative agenda and the positive it's looking at our other lives in the cosmos figuring out who your galactic counterparts are figuring out your genetic origins like are you Pleiadian are you Syrian figuring out your particular essence and really diving into the experience of that so that's the first place to start for any contact to occur with you with another being because you have to participate in it and I think where people get tripped up in this is they look at other people's experiences and they stay entertained just by experiencing and digesting that but also it creates a separation because not everyone's going to have experiences of like going up in blue orbs and doing all this crazy stuff. That's not for everyone. That's for a very rare percentage. And actually to get to that place where you're having those kind of contact, it first takes the unveiling of this deeply suppressed subconscious uh, stuff that we have. And we have to understand that it's probably the farthest thing away from our conscious mind so much else bubbles up before them like ancestry past lives like all you know childhood trauma that kind of stuff and the extraterrestrial thing is last because even though it's like pushed to the bottom it's because it's some of the higher frequencies and so realizing the other stuff might have to come first but first exploring your own experiences and figuring out what that is for you is primary to first contact Next is stage two, and I like to call this chasing versus being, because oftentimes like what catalyzes stage one is this like, <gasps> like this excitement and also this almost neediness of this savior complex. And this is a pretty deep imprint on our planet, and part of that's because that's in ways how we were created is to look to the stars, to look to the, the gods, to look to the higher beings who are our creators in a way and give them our power. And so this is what's happening where it's like, I want this thing and I want them to take me away or I want to go to this other planet. And really it's not about that at all. And it's realizing that within our own selves, we were given all of that creator genetics, but we'll get into that in stage three. So back to stage two, it's being versus chasing. So what does this being look like? Well, it looks like being human. Humanity and being human is actually an incredible, incredible gift. And when we realize this, and when we realize we're already extraterrestrials on our own planet, we can really start diving into what our missions are being here. And this is where it translates into the Starseed or the Wanderer mission. And that mission is to bring light, to bring consciousness, to bring purpose, to bring positive change and new systems and bring through these higher frequencies from up here and fully physicalize them into this dimension. That's why we came here as star seeds. So it's really important to understand that we didn't come down here and take the risks of coming back down into third density just to be like, oh, I want to go home. We came down here to actually be present to this experience and to help the transition for the people that have never gone past their density. And this is the first time that they're going on this ascension cycle to bring through these higher frequencies, to bring through these new systems and to freaking clean up the earth and get that all straightened up and to show uh, the third density humans that are making the transition, and that might be you, you might be third density for the first time making this transition, how to do it and the vibrational uh, necessity required to make that change. That's what we're here to do. So it's very important. And this is where I transitioned a lot of my work 
uh, stepping away from talking, for instance, about a lot of the hybrid stuff and my extraterrestrial contact is because I've realized that that's very key, especially to turn on the star seeds and the wanderers and be like, yo, this is your time, this is your mission, and this is where you're from, and remember your infinity, and remember these higher densities that you come from. And it's a critical piece, but then the, but then the major piece here is to then physicalize that into this reality. And so that's why I've changed so much of what I'm talking about to very practical and very like um, integral personal self-work type of things and relationships and, and, and for finding our purpose and those kinds of topics are actually critical to why we're even here. So that's why I've gone away from a lot of the conversation because it can get distracting to uh, the mission, the real mission. And that leads us to stage three, which is the realization that we are the freaking aliens that we've been waiting for. And to really own that deeply in our cells and our genetics. And so that the separation of contact, yes, it can happen physically and it will happen physically, but that can't even happen until we've done the prerequisite of really getting clear that we are extraterrestrials ourselves and, and we are those, those beings and we hold all of the genetic code to act on that. We hold all the frequencies and it's really just the realization of that and the full activation of that and the full embodiment of that actualization that is required and to realize that we're already always in communication. We're like, we're already having contact. It just might be through dreams. It just might be through clairaudience or clairvoyance or certain visions or certain promptings of inspiration, but that is contact already happening. So as I said in my documentation video, we have to validate the experiences of how this communication is happening already and it's ironic because we are most of us are coming from these higher densities you probably watching being a star seed and the irony is that you're from a higher density which means that you don't necessarily need physicality physical uh, validation to um, make something real and yet we're using this we're using actually like a third density um, belief system, which we're not even necessarily of, to be like, well, I need them to appear physically. And that's preschool in a way, you know, the development of the extrasensory perceptions and the development of the inner knowing and the activation of our genetics is the advancement and the advancement to not need the external and to realize it's fully within us is everything. So this is actually like the third stage of advancement to contact. And when you're actually radiating at that frequency and of knowing, ironically, then they can just show up because you're actually the frequency of a quasi physical being and you're not being needy. And so you synchronize on that octave of energetic level and rapport to where it will just happen. And so we have to realize this and some people, and I've, I've seen this in the extraterrestrial ufology um, history, I guess you could say, that some people where you're like, what, how are they having experiences? And they have tons of physical encounters and experiences. That's just a part of their particular story. But that's like 0.01% of the star seeds and wanderers that are meant to have that engaged of physical um, encounter. And the thing is too, is when some people have that that level of it, it's because they're not on their game. It's because they're not on their mission. And so they're like, okay, we got to call in the big guns. We got to create, like, we got to make sure that they know that like we're real and to kind of like get them back on track. So that's a lot of the reason for deep physical contact. And when people are actually synchronized, they realize that they are, and they're just in the ebb and flow of that frequency bandwidth that already is that. 
So that's the evolution of the frequency that we're going towards. And so I really wanted to bring that home and to, and to also share the different stages of how this looks and to, and to reorient what we're doing with all of this because so much of it can become entertainment, almost like a Hollywood movie. And that's not what it was meant to be. So we can't get tripped by you know, the Hollywood and the illusion of, of creating this thing that is so palpably real and us and profound and deep to then just be sculpted into like a new story narrative that, that like gives us a fixation of entertainment or even excitement, but utilizing it, of course, always as hope and utilizing it as a catalyst to really inspire us to own this and to move in this direction, that's great. But we have to really make sure that we're utilizing this stuff properly. And a lot of people get stuck at stage one with just ingesting information. And we have to convert stage one into the remembrance of our own experiences so that we can quickly get to stage two. Because when you remember your own experiences, you remember your purpose and you remember why you're here and what you're meant to do so that you can move to stage two and actually act on that on earth and not just stay in the information or entertainment realm. So these are the three stages of extraterrestrial contact, fully physical and fully within ourselves. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. This is one of the reasons why I've just been so dedicated to Earth mission. This is, this is where it's really important and that will end up leading to the physical contact. So I hope that that's clarifying and let me know below what you feel about all of this and comment with what stage you're at and what you're feeling from this uh, part because it's, it's cracking open. It's like so here, the frequencies are here. Um, and be sure to subscribe and to like and to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so that you can get notifications when new videos come out. Uh, check me out on Instagram and on Facebook for more daily updates and I will see you next Sunday with another video. I also have for if you are at stage one, um, more of a hybrid experience to get into if you have hybrid kids or to get into your extraterrestrial memories. So you can check out those, the different programs of the different pricing that I have so that you can get into the stage one so that then you can understand that moving to stage two. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.